So this is how it's going. It's the last day of school. Woo! We finally made it. I can't believe that we made it after like the craziest year. We are finally at the last day of school. I got my get your crayon shirt out because it is the last day of school and I'm super excited. So I'm going to go wake up my kids. Hopefully I can get them out of bed. And well, I will get them out of bed, but you know, sometimes it's a struggle. So we're gonna go do this. So we have um, my in-laws in town. So my son is actually staying in my office and he's on an air bed that I'm gonna go wake him up. Troy, wake up. Get up, bud. Okay, okay. It's the last day of school. Yay! You panicked me. Oops. Oh my goodness, y'all. So the kids have left and we are now going to go to a restaurant place like the teachers are going to go to a restaurant place and just kind of relax and enjoy that we made it through this year i am so like surprised we had <laughs> this year started out really really difficult i think it did for pretty much all educators across the world honestly and we never had to close down our school we started on time we had quarantines here and there but like i never had to do any significant quarantines so i really do feel like it was a pretty successful year so we're gonna go celebrate and blow off some steam and i'm super excited happy monday so i have in my car by myself no kids because today is a teacher work day and of course Friday was our last day of school so no kids are coming to school today so my kids are actually staying home because I have so much paperwork to do today it's not even funny closing out stuff for the end of the year and I don't need any distractions and I will be honest I'm dreading it because I don't know by the end of the year I have like no motivation and so I always really struggle to get everything done I'm just tired I'm just ready for breaks so I'm hoping today that I will be more productive, but ooh, what was that? I'll be more productive and be able to get some stuff done today, but I wanted to take you along, kind of show you me wrapping up the end of the year paperwork, packing up my classroom. I'm really not looking forward to that because I'm going to have to pack up stuff and take it over to our storage unit. I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to do it in like small increments. So like I'm going to work on some paperwork today and then pack up stuff and take some of it over this afternoon. I don't know. We'll see how it all rolls out. I'm just, I'm struggling. I'm tired today. It has been a long weekend. We actually put in an offer on a house on Friday. I loved the house. I've been telling myself I'm not going to fall in love because I know that this market is crazy. Absolutely bonkers but I I don't know I had faith that it was gonna happen this house was perfection I and then they had 19 offers and I don't know how high somebody went but I can tell you that we went pretty high and someone beat us out and I'm like you have to be kidding me like I refuse to go over what I could appraise for because then we're gonna have to eat that I mean this is just insane so then I went through a whole bunch of stages of grief of like, I'm not going to get a house when we get to Florida. I'm going to get a dumpy little house and we're going to be upside down. I don't know. I'm, I'm struggling with that. So prayers that we don't have that we get what we, what works for our family. I don't know. It's so hard because I'm not going to complain and go on a ramp, but I really love the house that we have here. I really love the job that we have, that I have. And I'm sad. I'm going to be real. Like... <laughs> 
kind of been a really disappointing process. I keep telling myself that God has something great for us planned and it always is kind of darkest before, you know, the light and the right house is going to come for us. The right job is going to happen and things are going to be good. This is going to be a good experience. But right now, trudging through the storm, I am very overwhelmed. So it's like, it's hard to go into work right now in the right headspace. So... I don't know, but we're going to try. Got a lot of caffeine going to work and I just try to focus on getting all of my paperwork done today, closing out all of my stuff and being able to move on to um, my classroom and getting it done. But I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of tears. So be prepared for that. Friday, I didn't really cry because we put in this offer on this house and I was like moving forward and I was excited. But now that there's nothing like clear and certain, no job offers yet, <laughs> um, no additional interviews yet, no other stuff, I'm, I'm kind of struggling. So there probably will be a lot of tears in this video and I'm sorry. But that's just reality. And if you're watching this and you're seeing what it's like to be a military spouse, it's a teacher now you know or what it's like to be a teacher having to move states and go to another job this is what it's like and it's a struggle but I don't know I know it'll work out I'll have faith this isn't my first rodeo of doing this but the last move was a lot easier because I wanted to come back to Mississippi so I was really excited I don't know we'll see how it all goes I'll keep you posted So I just like freaking rage cleaned both of my rooms and I didn't even film it because I'm so like stressed and PO'd right now. So I just went in and just did what I needed to do. Um, the whole house thing's got me like over the moon stressed right now. So I'm like not quite sure what to do with my class pets because we could end up in an apartment and I can't have three guinea pigs in an apartment. I don't know what kind of job I'm going to have. So... I don't know. I'm trying to see if one of my fellow teachers will take on some class pets, but I'm getting a lot of like sympathetic looks, but no response. So that's a big no. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do right now, uh, but I think I'm going to sit down and kind of look at my paperwork because I'm, I gotta get that done. I don't want to do it. <laughs> so status update here is my to-do list. I'm covering up everything. I mean, these are initials, so it doesn't really matter, I guess, but I'm covering up my school, but you can see I'm making progress. We are making progress right over here. It's actually at lunchtime, so I feel pretty confident with that, especially since I've been like dragging. But I think, you know, I'm getting somewhere, so I'm feeling better. That is my strategy. When you feel overwhelmed, I give it to my students, and I'm gonna follow it myself, just get in there and start taking off manageable chunks. And so that's what I did. I worked in my other room, got some stuff picked up, organized, and now I'm moving on to in here. My goal is to get all my paperwork finished. I set up an appointment to do my checkout and then I think I can get my kids and my husband over here and just get this stuff out. I'm going to take home some today, but we'll just see how it goes. So this is what we're having. Don't mind all of my office supplies because we are definitely doing a working lunch right here. But this healthy choice is like so good, y'all. 10 out of 10 recommend it. It actually fills you up. Happy. It's a little bit of comfort food. So I have a meeting at one, but um, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm really, <laughs> I'm struggling. So I think I'm going to watch some YouTube videos and eat lunch instead of work through my lunch because mental health first. So that's what we're going to do. So this is not what you want to see when you're trying to get all your reports done and it's not working. <sighs> all right, so I'm going to take these down to my car and load up a few things. That way I just have less I have to deal with tomorrow. Good morning. So I am in a much better mood today. It is Tuesday. I'm going back to go work in my classroom today. It's another teacher work day. So I have to 
finished wrapping up my paperwork, but I'm supposed to check out today at noon. So fingers crossed that everything checks out good. And then I'm done with the paperwork side. And then all I have to do is worry about moving out all of my classroom stuff. And it sounds really weird, but I will feel a hundred pounds lighter once the paperwork stuff's done because, you know, moving all this stuff back here, it's pretty mindless. Now, as you can see, I have not taken it over to the storage unit. Yesterday, I was so tired. Like, I forced myself to go to the gym, which I'm really glad that I did because it helped and I went to bed early. So I think that's all contributing to being in a better mood today. So hopefully today will be a lot more cheerier and not so angry. I'm positive that, you know, God will provide and take care of us and this house thing and this job thing will all work out. I'm just going to give it all up to him and not like stress about it and just try to enjoy my summer that I'm about to embark on. So I'm going to head on out now. I might get some smoothie. King. I haven't decided. I don't know if I should spend the money. Should I spend the money? I don't know. So we're going to go head out. I may. I don't know. We'll see if the mood strikes me. I probably should drop these off at the storage unit, but I don't know if I have time. I'm supposed to be there at 8. Mm. I don't know if I'll have time. We'll see. I'll let you know. So I decided against Smoothie King. I'm just going to eat this Quest cookie instead. Ignore my nails. I know they're grown out. My goal is hopefully once as a reward to myself, once I'm done with all this stuff, I'm going to go get my nails done. Kind of just like a happy incentive. But I love these. If you haven't tried them, they're just amazing. And they make a great, easy breakfast. So, And it saves me money because then I'm not spending like $9 on a Smoothie King. I'm going to take these into the storage unit. with all her paperwork oh yeah this girl totally checked out my paperwork I feel a hundred pounds lighter I am ready now to pack up this room I'm going to go ahead and message my husband and see if he can get down here with this truck so we can get this stuff out of here and I can be cruising in to a summer break hallelujah I'm so relieved I'm gonna probably do something I shouldn't go do and go to lunch but then I'll come back and hit the packing hard. I have homes for my other two guinea pigs. So we are rocking and rolling and uh, I can feel the freedom. I can taste the freedom right now. Back at the school and I brought reinforcements who were hiding from me to help bring all of my stuff back. I'm flying, you're walking, we're going somewhere, we're in between your day. This is what we got a truck and a car full of teacher stuff good morning so today is the last day of me packing up my classroom and getting out now yesterday we saw that my kids and my husband came over and moved this out i didn't get a lot of footage of that because well we were moving but i'm sure you can use your imagination and know that it looked like a lot of people moving boxes downstairs but today we actually have our end of the year celebration. So we're going to be able to have like our awards and all that sort of stuff and a chance for me to say goodbye to all of my wonderful colleagues that I've worked with. I will not cry. I will not cry. <laughs> um, 
Then we're gonna have our crawfish boil afterwards. I still have, my goodness, if I can talk, I still have some items in my classroom, like in my desk and some things I need to clear out. I also need to clean out the guinea pig cage and store that and give the new guinea pig, the other guinea pigs off to their new home. So that's kind of what's on the agenda for today. And then I should be ready to check out and be done. I don't know why I can't talk today. Um, in my room and ready for summer. So today is going to definitely be a bittersweet day. I'm going to take video of what I can take video of. I don't know how much I'll get of the celebration. We will see. But this is the last day of this vlog um, with the, you know, end of the school year and packing up my classroom. So here we go. Oh, I'm also taking my kids with me today because my daughter has a doctor's appointment and I thought that it was going to be like a telehealth appointment and then they told me that it was going to be in person so i'm like okay well then we'll get ready to go so we have to do this very important mental health number one so we'll go take care of that so so we're back and we're in my car i know i left off talking a little bit about yesterday was like our last contractual teacher work day and we had an end of the year celebration and all that stuff. But in true fashion, it always takes me forever to get out of the building because it feels like every time I would get somewhere, someone was like, oh, I need this and I need this and I need this. And I feel like we could never get out. I was like, what is that? Oh, it's the mailman. Okay. But I could never get out. And I will be honest, like I really didn't do any vlogging yesterday because I was in the world's, I started off in a good mood and then I ended up in the world's worst mood. And I think it was just like we did the end of the year celebration and I just am sad that I'm leaving <laughs> and just frustrated that everything is just not going the way that it needs to. I think it's just exhaustion. Exhaustion is where I was at. So I didn't do a lot of vlogging because you all don't need that negativity in your life. It's just, I, but it is the emotions that you feel when you're getting ready to leave, I think. And, and you're getting ready to leave something that you've enjoyed and friends that you've enjoyed and a job that you enjoyed and... So that's the reality of that Ooh, I'm like sliding everywhere. Sorry, y'all. So this isn't a contract day, but I didn't get out on time. I had to leave and take my daughter to a doctor's appointment, which was incredibly important. So I didn't get everything finished. And um, so I'm going to go back today and just do kind of one last walk through my room, make sure that I didn't leave anything. <laughs> and because I have to turn my keys in and my laptop in, and then I've got to give some files to my sped director and then I can check on out of there. I'm going to hit the gym and we will be done. So yeah, um, I don't know if there's much more to show you, but I did kind of want to do like a little reflection about this year and um, just moving forward. I, I have no updates on the job front right now, just still waiting to kind of see what happens, but well, I'll keep you posted. This is the last time I will be vlogging in this room with its very horrible lighting, <laughs> but uh, it's bittersweet. A lot of great memories were made in this room. A lot of great memories were made in this school. My kids have gone to this school. So this is really bittersweet. Um, 
I, like I said, I think it hit me yesterday, and that's why I just I couldn't vlog. I I struggled, um, but. I know we're moving on to bigger and better, well, I don't know bigger and better things, but we're moving on to new things, new experiences, new opportunities to grow. So, <sighs> goodbye room. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to do a good night moon, like goodbye desk, goodbye chair, goodbye room, goodbye Zoom. I'll take that. So that was really cringy, but you know, I probably am not saying goodbye to Zoom anytime soon, especially with all these interviews this summer, but. Good night, Zoom, for a while anyway. <laughs> Goodbye, D221. You will be missed. So I am all checked out and I am officially on summer break. It feels amazing. I can't believe that we made it here. I mean, I did my first video setting up my classroom and I did my other videos talking about how hard the first year of the school year was and we made it through this year and we stayed in person the entire time, which is just crazy to me. And I just, I, I can't believe it. Here we are. It's bittersweet. I'm ready for the next chapter in my life though. Thank you so much for watching this video and sticking with me. I know it was all over the place. I was emotionally all over the place. So if you stayed all the way, all the way to the end, you all are awesome. I appreciate it so much. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, whatever. I love to grow this community. If you wanna see more of my adventures on trying to find a teaching job, another state, my military move, uh, seeing how I set my new classroom and where the next journey is, make sure you come and join the family because I'm going to have all of that. I'm working really hard on YouTube during the summer break, really wanting to expand more than I did this year because I feel like if I've survived this year, I can survive just about anything. So yeah, you don't want to miss that. I really have some great content coming in your way. So Thank you so much for being here and I will catch you in the next one.